Hello, my name is Maria from mathmammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study whole and half hours on the clock. And as you can see, my clock is stripped off of some of its hands. Usually a clock has at least two different hands, a minute hand and an hour hand. My clock actually had three, but I took two of them off, the second hand and the minute hand. I only have the hour hand left now to keep things simple. Okay. And the hour hand tells us what hour it is, obviously. And uh, on this clock face you see numbers from 1 to 12. And those numbers tell us the hours. So when the hour hand points to 1, then the time is 1 hour. But we usually say it as 1 o'clock instead of 1 hour. And then when the hour hand points to 2, then it is 2 o'clock or 2 hours. And so on, 3 o'clock. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, and so on. It goes all the way till 12 o'clock. And after 12 o'clock, it starts again at 1 o'clock, and so on. So you can think of the 12 o'clock as zero hours as well. And during one day, the hour hand goes around from 0 o'clock till 12 o'clock twice. So actually, in one day, we have 12 and 12, or 24 hours. Usually, when it is one hour, one o'clock, it is night time, you're sleeping, and you might wake up maybe at seven o'clock in the morning, or maybe at eight o'clock in the morning. And then you might do some schoolwork, and maybe you eat around 12 o'clock. And then the hour hand starts going around again, and it is afternoon, we say. Let's say now that it is three o'clock, three hours. Now, when I move this so that the hour hand points halfway in between three and four, then we say it is half past three. The hour hand has traveled halfway between three and four, so this is actually three and a half hours, but we say it as half past three. And then over here, the hour hand points to four, it is four o'clock, or four hours. Now when it moves in between 4 and 5, halfway between 4 and 5, then the time is 4 and a half hours, but we say it as half past 4, okay? And another half an hour passes, it is 5 o'clock. Remember, from 5 to 6 would be a whole hour, so 5 and half an hour would be exactly here, halfway between 5 and 6. Another half an hour, and it is 6 o'clock. What time would it be exactly one hour after 7 o'clock? Well, 7 o'clock is 7 hours, and one more hour would make it 8 hours. So that's pretty easy, right? What time would it be half an hour after 8 o'clock? That would be over here, in between 8 and 9, half past 8. And now, what time would it be exactly one hour after half past eight? One hour after this. The hour hand needs to move a half an hour and another half an hour to half past nine. 